In the previous video, I showed you how to use the J option pane to get user input, but in the form of a string. Uh, and I typed in numbers, but they're actually in string format or character format, if you want to call them that. <clears throat> so to demonstrate that that is the case, and you cannot do, perform mathematical calculations with these inputs as is, I'll do something simple here. I'll create an integer called sum, and I'll set it equal to zero. So it's equal to zero right now. But then down here, I'm going to say sum equals, and I'll just say 5 plus input. So if I were to type 1, you would think that it would be 5 plus 1, which is 6, right? So I'll click Compile, and it says incompatible types. Java found a string, but expected an integer. So it found this input to be a string, and it's tried to, trying to add it to an integer, and you can't add strings and integers. Strings are like letters, and this is an integer that doesn't work. So to solve this uh, so that I can take these inputs and use them as numbers, I have to actually convert it to an integer. And this is how you do it. So I'm going to say int, and I'll say num, equals integer dot parse int. Parse int is basically converting uh, this into an integer. So and I'll say, what am I doing? Input. I'm going to take this input, which is a string, and I'm going to convert it into an integer. And there's a reason why there's a capital I here, but I'll go through that later in class. And then I won't use input here, which is the string. I'll use the new, new and improved num, which is actually the uh, numerical version of what I uh, type in there. And then finally, to make sure this all works, let me just see if this compiles. That's good. No syntax error. So it does indeed think it's an integer. And just to make sure it all works, I'll say system.out.println, and I'll print out the sum. All right, so let's compile it. Let's close it, and I'll type in 1. So if you recall, 5 plus 1 should be 6. Let's see if I get 6. I do. All right, if I run it again, and I type in, let's say, 10. 10 plus 5 should give me 15, and there it is. All right. Now, there's a problem here if I inadvertently type in a string. Because if you recall, the parsing is going to try to convert this string into a number, and I definitely can't convert that to a number. And I get all kinds of problems here. Number format exception and things like that. So you have to do some more error checking if you, have, if you want to make sure the user input is correct and whatnot. But in simple cases, you can convert a string into an integer. And then from there, do mathematical calculations with it.